This is Ian Lamont, author of Google Drive and Docs in 30 Minutes. Today I'm going to give you four tips to make better use of Google Contacts. If this video helps, please subscribe and like the video. Let's get started. So we are in the Google Contacts main page. To get to this particular page from anywhere in a logged in Google account, go to the apps menu up here. It looks like a waffle. Click on it and then select contacts and you'll come right to this page. The first tip that I have is to build up your contacts. You want to have a big list because this makes it easier not only to, to email people later on, but also if you have it synced from your iPhone or from your Android phone, it will help names and contacts show up when someone calls you or you want to call them. The way to import names like as a bulk import is usually by spreadsheet. The way that you do it is you go to the import icon right over here, click on that, and then you'll be prompted to select a CSV or V card file from your hard drive. If you have a big list of contacts in like an Excel spreadsheet, what you need to do is make sure you export it as a CSV file using the format that Google recommends, and they have a template right here. Then you select the file, and then you uh, find it, and then you open it or upload it or add it, and basically all those contacts will be flowed in. So the other thing that I recommend, this is tip number two, edit your entries to include first and last names if possible. And this relates to using a Google contacts list that's synced to your phone. If you have the first and last name there, that will show up when someone's calling you, and also when you're emailing people, if you just type someone's name, um, you know, it will automatically flow into the email rather than just the email address. So in this case, we have Blickart materials and I have this the standard corporate address. What I could also do is I could click edit and then add the first name, Dick, and then the last name, Blick. All right. And now that it'll be Dick Blick when Dick Blick, if he emails me or let's say I have his telephone number in there and he calls me. Um, it'll show up as Dick Blick on my phone, or when I'm emailing them, it, it's easier to uh, set up the email. Tip number three, add a URL to entries, which makes it easier to log in in the future. So this is a corporate website. I use it for buying art supplies. So what I'm going to do is click edit, scroll down, click the show more button, and you can see there's an option here to add a website. So what I'm going to do is add their website. I know what the website is. It is dickblick.com, and then I'm going to click save. And now when I look at this entry in Google Contacts, you can see there's a link there. And when I click on it, it'll open up the website very easily from my phone or from my desktop. So that's a really big help. Finally, use the notes field to add information you can refer to later. And to add a note, basically what you do is you click edit, you go down here, and then you could add information like um, art supplies. I could add like a discount code, discount code, um, 15 off. I could do many other things. And the advantage of doing this when you have a big list of contacts and you can't remember exactly who the contact is, but you might remember some other detail, you can search for it. So a classic example is like I'm looking for a contractor. I have a giant, let's say this is a giant list of thousands of names. I can't remember the plumber's name, but if I search for plumber up here and then press return, you can see that the plumber popped up or more than one plumber if I have more than one. And if you click on it, you can see what I did. I added a whole bunch of information about them. Uh, sticker was on the boiler, plumber, plumbing, heating, heater. So I deliberately put those keywords in there so it would be easier to find this entry later on. I hope this video helped. If it did, please take a moment to like it or subscribe and I have links to more resources in the description. Thank you so much for watching.